Welcome back for the final episode of my Kintsugi build. We've got lots to finish off, so let's get straight to it. Firstly, I'm going to finish off the neck. Here I'm using a Shinto rasp to carve the neck using the faceting method. This gradually refines the profile to reveal the rounded shape. As always, I sand through the grits until it's all super smooth. Now that I'm happy with the shape, I add a couple of coats of oil. That brings out the beautiful grain of the black limber, but it's important not to add too many coats that inhibits playability. Now for a little fret work. Nothing out of the ordinary here, apart from the hemispherical fret ends for smooth access up and down the neck. It's the usual approach here, taping off the areas we don't want to damage, and sanding the frets until they're perfectly level, then a recrown to restore the fret's original round profile. And then I sand and compound buff with a Dremel. A little cleanup and conditioning, and that's all done. Here I'm just cutting some screws down to size for the neck and body's particular depths. Then I gently clamp the neck into its final position and screw the neck in. Then I'm on to the other points of the assembly.
And now for my least favourite part, the electronics. So here I am wiring some beautiful bare knuckle pickups into a single volume, single push-pull tone knob to give me some extra tonal variety. my favourite strings. Now a first for me, making my own custom knobs. It was so much fun and so satisfying to do, just using the leftover black limber and belled camphor top. It's pretty simple and requires no turning tools. I just used a hole saw drill bit and a Japanese pull saw, and then just some sanding refinements and oil. That brings us to the end of this Kintsugi series. Thanks for watching and all your kind comments and feedback. So instead of making a functional demo, which bores me to tears, myself and Matt, the other half of Strut, we decided to make an entire song for Kintsugi. Enjoy.